Oh my god. I've been using fresh fruit since, since, since. So please buy it again. Mirror and. Hell, I hate this. Oh. Um, and I smell like tequila every morning. Oh my god, can we do what we did with the. You guys remember when I did that video with the twilight and I got the bubbles to go out? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, come on. That wasn't satisfying. We have to do it again. Oh, and it's leaking. Oh. Magic! Magic! The May Advanced Technology Luxury. Luxur what? Hey guys, so today I'm doing an empties video. What is an empties video? It's where I show you all the empty products that I've used for the month or however long I've been collecting them. And I tell you if I like them, would I repurchase them or not. Um, I was inspired to do this by Leanne Says because she does like empties videos all the time. So yeah, let's get into it. The first empties product is this. This is the Oh my god. The first empties product is this. This is the Neutrogena Wave Exfoliating, Gentle Exfoliating Pads. I bought the Neutrogena Wave in November and I bought these to go with it. And they're okay. Um, just a gentle exfoliation for my skin. But since I've been using fresh, since, 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 since I've been using Fresh Pharmacy from Lush, I don't really need this anymore. So I probably wouldn't buy these again. But if you're a skincare nut, then yeah, buy these. Now some Lush products. First thing is a Lush Fresh Face Mask. This was Odafix. Um, this says, get your Odafix with a blend of bananas, vanilla, and oats to nourish irritated skin. If you have really dry, irritated skin, this is a great face mask for you. I loved it. It smelled like freshly baked goods, which was really appealing to me wanting to smush it onto my face, which was nice. Um, yeah, and I really liked it. Uh, I would purchase this again. It's only like six bucks. I really like the fresh face mask. You get them in these little tubs, and if you collect five of them, you get a free fresh, free fresh face mask, which is nice. The next is another Lush product, another Lush face mask. This is Love Lettuce. I have purchased this before, I do like it, um, and I would buy it again. It's supposed to be a simple scrubby face mask to give normal to oily skin a radiant glow, so it's not really for my skin type, but I really like it, and I really like the scent of it, and it's like that traditional green clay mask. I think it has Fuller's Earth in it. Radiant radiance. Did you hear yeah, Fuller's Earth, so, which is nice. So it dries like a clay finish, like any clay mask, and I really like this. Love Lettuce is made with like seaweed and kaolin, oh agar, sorry not seaweed, honey, fuller's earth, prunes, nice stuff. I would buy it again. Now this is my empty Celestial Moisturizer, I recently hauled another one of these in my recent Lush haul. Love this product, cannot get enough of it awesome for dry sensitive skin and winter skin and it just I got like a little tiny bit left it just smells so good it's made with dove orchids and almond extract which is really nice and I like it for my skin almond milk too good stuff and then I have another Lush product of course this is the sweetie pie shower gel sweetie pie shower gel um shower jelly sorry and it came in like this gelatinous blob um, and it smells it's supposed to smell like cherries and currants kind of like the comforter scent it's a really strong scent almost like comforter um I wasn't really a fan of this one I really love the Kalaka shower Kalak wasn't really a fan of this one I really like the Kalakas shower jelly the limited edition Halloween one um, I think I would buy this as a gift for someone because it's a really fun novelty idea. My boyfriend really liked it, but I think I might give Woosh a try because the scent didn't really do anything for me. Okay, this is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the color medium, and it's empty. Hit the pan. Um, I like this product. It's a really nice kind of 
finishing powder for my skin. It's a nice color. Everybody raves about these. Buy it again. This is my Lemonade by Benefit Color Correcting Eyelid Primer. Now, I've had two of these, and they've probably lasted me about two years each. I think I purchased this about two years ago when my Sephora first opened. Um, and I really liked it as an eyelid primer. It just really held in the eyeshadow. Um, but now, since I've switched over to Painterly by MAC, Painterly Paint Pot, I love this a lot more. It's not a yellow base. It's a pink base, which is really good for my skin tone. And I'm finding that this is starting to crease on me. The only thing I did like about this primer is it came with a mirror and it's an alright product. Um, for $25 though, I would say just spring the money and get the MAC one. It's going to last you a lot longer and it's a lot better. The next thing is another MAC product. This is my favorite thing. I've bought this like a thousand times. I think this is like my tenth tube maybe. This is Plush Lash by MAC. Just a, oh my god this one's so old. Just a nice fat fluffy brush which is really awesome and a really great formula for lashes. Right now I'm currently wearing, oh that's not it. I'm currently wearing the Telescopic Explosion Mascara from L'Oreal. I hate this but I thought I would give it another try and it kind of looks okay. But MAC Plush Lash, love it, buy it again. The next is a product I'm really sad I'm out of. This is the Moroccan Oil, Moroccan Oil Treatment. It is super expensive. I got this bottle for Christmas last year and it lasted me an entire year plus like two more months. And I love this stuff. My hair needs this stuff. Like look how thirsty my ends look right now. But I love this product and Unfortunately, soon I'm going to have to shell out $50 for another one of these because it's amazing and it really, I noticed a difference with my hair. So if you have dry, split, damaged, horrible ends, this is going to be your best friend. Um, especially people who ombre their ends blonde. If you find you're having any dryness or frizziness with that, if you did it at home, definitely pick up some Moroccan oil because when I had my green and blonde ombre ends, this saved my life. Just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful product. Merp. Moving on. What's next? Oh, these. This is the Neutrogena All-in-One Makeup Removing Cleansing Wipes. Um, got these for Christmas. My dad bought me a giant pack, a uh, travel kit from like Costco. So I did two of these ones, which have 25 wipes each, and two of the smaller ones, which had... 10 wipes each for traveling. These are okay. They make my face really oily, which I don't like, but it's gentle on the eyes, so maybe I would go for something that's oil free. Um, because I just find once I remove the makeup and then put my celestial moisturizer over it, it's just really awful. But I mean, I have more of these. I'm gonna finish using the other package that he got me, but I personally would not buy these wipes again. Another Lush product. This is Ponche Shower Gel, and yes, I technically cheated. There's a little bit left in there, but it's so hard to get out of the bottle. But look how battered the bottle is. And Reggie made it. I love Reggie. He's so sassy. He makes a lot of my products. But Ponche is just, oh. It smells like tequila and orange punch. They have me a tequila. <laughs> That's why I bought this. It says, inspired by Mexican Christmas punch, Ponche is bright, boozy, fruity, and uplifting. I think this is the first year they had this. Um, hopefully they'll be bringing it back because this is a limited edition. Although I do have another smaller one of these and a larger one, which is awesome. Love Ponche. Smells so good. Feliz Navidad. All that lovey stuff. Um, and I smell like tequila every morning, which maybe not everybody wants to smell like, but I'm okay with it. Just, oh, can I just, oh my god, can we do what we did with the, you guys remember when I did that video? with the twilight and I got the bubbles to come out. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, come on. That wasn't satisfying. We have to do it again. Oh, and it's leaking. Oh. Magic! Magic! Anyways, I'll buy this again. But it's limited edition. 
The next is a conditioner. I have two conditioners. This is the Down Unders Natural uh, Good On You Gentle. Now, when I bought this, I thought the Down Unders was the brand and natural was this conditioner. I wasn't I wasn't exactly aware that Nat Down Under Naturals is the brand and Good On You Gentle is the conditioner because if I would have known that, I wouldn't have bought it. But looking at the label, it had all of the things that I love. Coconut, which I'm thinking like coconut oil, coconut milk, and orchids, which I use on my skin, so I'm like, why not my hair? But this is um, a really gentle conditioner. If you have damaged hair, this really isn't going to be friendly to you. Um, I'd probably recommend this to people with thinner hair. But what I do like about this is it's an, in a 95% biodegradable bottle. No parabens, no dyes, no sulfates. Which is all really good stuff for your hair. It's just I have to use, I probably have this for like a month maybe, and I have to use a lot of product to cover my hair, so that's a little sad. But um, overall, I like this conditioner, and I would probably buy it again, maybe for the summer if I'm looking for something a little bit lighter. But this was a good conditioner. Next, I'm sad I'm out of it. I've probably had this for three years now. This is my Harajuku Lovers G Scent perfume by Gwen Stefani. Look at this bottle. I'm definitely keeping her because she's precious and I'm just going to keep her on my cabinet of oddities which I will insert a picture of here so you can see what I have up there. But this is the G scent. Um, no idea what it smells like because I never smelt a perfume like this before and I'm really not a fan of celebrity perfumes but I love this and this is probably my favorite scent so I am going to go to Sephora eventually when I get money and buy the full size because I love it. Um, it was kind of like my signature scent in high school and I haven't really been wearing it lately. But I just love it. It's so good. Burp. The next thing is this. This is the 80 piece cotton balls pot, pads and swabs. Got it for Christmas. Used all the swabs and stuff. It was okay. Not the best cotton swabs. And the last but not least is a conditioner. This is the Tresemme Advanced Technology Luxury. Luxur what? This is the Tresemme um, Luxurious Moisture for Dry Damaged Hair. Now I picked this up because I really like the br breakage, anti breakage, anti split ends because it had gelatin in it. And for some reason I thought, ooh, gelatin, jello. It's going to make the ends of my hair like jello so they'll stick together. And that's what I thought. So I was like, oh, trust me, like, like that one. Let's buy this one. Horribly mistaken. This did not do anything moisturizing wise for my hair. I do not like this one um, in the, you know, moisture rich, luxurious moisture because there was no moisture. It just didn't do a good job. I like a conditioner that's going to detangle my hair when I'm in the shower and this just didn't do it for me. But however, I do love this brand and I love the um, anti-breakage serum one. It's in like the, got the purple detailing, but yeah, wouldn't buy it again. So that was my empties video and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe and you know you could like and comment and stuff. You can also follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. Links down below in the description bar. Hope you guys are having a great evening. Bye! And you know what it's time for? Awkward outro. Cabbage patch? Should we do that? Is that still a thing? I'm cabbage patching. It's happening. Alright, bye!